Hello everybody, welcome to our new video and I did say in the last video that I didn't think I would fit another big video in before Christmas however this arrived in the post and there's no way I can wait to open it so I'm going to open it today so we are going to have that extra video and it's going to be a beauty hopefully with this Charizard Ultra Premium Collection these were super hard to get when they first came out about two months ago I think it was um, they just sold out instantly, you couldn't get them anywhere. I did try several of my local game stores. I tried pre-ordering them online, I couldn't get them. The prices went quite high, but there was rumours from the very beginning of another restock that was coming just after Christmas. But it turned out it came before Christmas and now you can get these anywhere. I got this particular one from the Pokemon Centre, but I've seen them in stock on Magic Madhouse um, and a few other places as well at retail price, which is £119 something, I think. So, not a cheap item, but there are some cool promos in here. I don't know much about this box. I haven't actually seen anybody open them, so I don't know all the contents. I'm just going to move my camera up a bit higher. So that you can see the whole box here i might have to stand up let me just adjust that there we go so that's the whole box and look that's just packaging by the look of things and i don't know does it slide out oh no does, if there's a magnet on here that's magnetic i don't know if you can hear that so that's pretty cool this is going to be an awesome box to keep as well wow look at that inside of there the design on that and then if we oh it looks like it's a draw system so if I just lie that down and bear with me while I try and figure out, I don't want to damage the box because I want to keep it. So it looks like there's another box in here. Okay. Oh, so this is a play mat, I guess. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. And then if you guys want to see what it's like, there's separate boxes in here and they're all going to have different things in, I guess. So let's just... Oh, they're drawers, not boxes, they're drawers. So we'll pull them all out. I've just checked there isn't anything else. But yeah, there's some, there is some of the things in here. This is a really cool box. This is a really cool box. So I'm just gonna move it to the side and we'll see what we've got. We've got three boxes here and this looks like a play mat. So let's open this up first. Have a look at this play mat. So I'm guessing it's going to be, seeing as it's a Charizard collection box, it's going to be a Charizard playmat, I would imagine. Let's have a look. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. In fact, let me just move that out of the way and we'll use that today. Let me just move these other things out of the way and we'll put the Charizard playmat down and we'll use it today. It's a little bit wrinkled up, but I mean that will flatten out over time. Okay, so we'll bring these boxes back and see what we have. Look at this. This is loads of goodies in here. I'm immediately seeing something I don't like, which you all know I'm not keen on Fusion Strike. Wow, the weight of these counters. They are so heavy. They're obviously metal. Um, and that's the poison and burn counter there. So pop those up to the side. In fact, I'm just going to move this back down so that I can see a bit better. We have the dice, which again are super heavy. So they're metal dice and they're gold. And look at these, these sleeves. Wow, they are cool. A lot of people are big Charizard fans. There's going to be a lot of people that really, really love this. I'm not a particular Charizard fan, but I do like nice artwork and that is a really good one. So that's the sleeves. Move that box to the side. We've got our V-Star marker like you get in all in TVs. We'll just move that there. And let's see how many packs we get. Oh, there's another coin here. Let's have a look. And it's a Charizard coin. And again, it's a metal coin. That is a really nice coin. There we go. So here we go. What have we got? We've got three Fusion Strike. Not very keen on Fusion Strike, as you guys know. One, two, three. Three Evolving Skies, love Evolving Skies. Let's hope for some good pulls there. We have two Vivid Voltage. I'm still hunting that Rainbow Pikachu and a Darkness of Blaze, which I also love. That's that box emptied. 
there is another box here and i can see these promos we'll get to those in a minute guys let's just have a look what other packs you get with this we get lost origin again i like lost origin astral radiance brilliant stars all great packs so with the exception of the fusion strike that i could do without i absolutely love all of these packs and let's just see how many you get two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen seventeen is that right that seems like an odd number yes 17 packs seems like a bit of a strange number to me 17 packs your sleeves all your different accessories here's the promos let's have a look if these are decent i'm going to get these graded but looking immediately these are um they're a bit off center the the bottom border there is much thinner than the top border but let us open these up let me grab my sleeves they're still cool promos to have anyway even if you don't get them graded but i was hoping to get mine graded but we'll see so here we go let's open these carefully there's code which I'm guessing is going to unlock these promos. So we'll just move that to one side and we'll have a look, a closer look at these. These have been out a while, so I'm sure you guys have seen these promos by now, but this is the first time I'm taking a good look at them. This one, like I said, is off center. Um, it's a thinner border on the right and on the bottom compared to the top and the left. So I don't think that that's not going to be a 10. Um, the rest of the card does look good. It doesn't seem to be any whitening or damage to the corners or the edges, or maybe that top white corner has a tiny, tiny bit of whitening. So yeah, that, that would be a nine, um, maybe even an eight, I'm not sure. Wow, look at this card. This is the same design that's on the sleeves, and that is absolutely fabulous. And that one, the centering looks a bit better. It's still a little off, but providing everything else was okay, it could have a shot at a 10. Let's have a look. No, there's a nick out of the top corner there. So, I mean, that's the thing with promos. They're often damaged. They rattle around inside these boxes and they, they're rubbing up against each other when there's been three in the same packet here in this case. So let's have a look at this last one. It's a Charizard V-Star. And again, that's off center. It's actually thinner on the left this time than, than the right. And again, it has some little nicks out of it. So they won't be going for grading, but they are still gonna look absolutely awesome in a binder. And that is a really cool card at all as well. Wow. So three absolutely awesome promos. I love the sleeves and all those accessories, which will move to the side because I am hoping to get some good pulls out of these packs. Let us get Fusion Strike out of the way before we do anything else because Oh, it's just horrendous. It's like, are there even any ultra rare cards in this set is my question. There's your code. Because I have not seen any. I've never seen anything better than a V from this set. So, Corvus Squire, Spongy Gloves, Galarian Daramuka, Pancham, Rulu, Pansage, Clefie, Clefkey, sorry, a reverse Meltang and here we go, Fusion Strike proving me wrong. What have we got? A Bolton V. So it is just a V card, but it's a hit nonetheless. And Fusion Strike as well. So our first hit, first pack, first hit. And guys, I've just realized that didn't actually show the bulk that was in here. So let's just have a little look. Normally these are player guides. This one doesn't say player guide on it. I'm not sure what it's going to show. Um, oh, it's showing cards from all the sets. I guess, or just information about all the sets. So you do get that little booklet with this set as well. This box, I should say. So let's continue with Fusion Strike. Let's see, I don't mind if we don't get any pulls from Fusion Strike, actually. I would rather save the look for some of these other sets. These are back to front. I'm making a bit of a mess of it because I'm trying to show these codes whilst covering the QR code and I'm not doing it very successfully. So here we go, Farewell Bell, Nine Tails, Mandibuzz, Galarian Meow, Tynamo, Quillfish, Smeagol, Marpeco, a Reverse Rotom, and a regular Rare Maractus. So let's get this last pack of Fusion Strike out of the way before we get to the cards I really like. So here we go, there's code. And these cards are sticking together a bit, guys, so bear with me if I'm going a bit slow. Dreadnought, Elsa's Sparkle, 
Fusion Strike, Vulpix, Pulus, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Sandigas, Stuffle, they are sticking together so bad, Sizzlipede, a Reverse Pukamuku, and a regular rare Oricorio. So, just the one hit so far. Now then guys, because I'm doing this extra video before Christmas, it does give me an extra chance to remind you guys that our big Christmas giveaway is still ongoing. So go back, I think two videos ago, and you will be able to enter that. I'm not gonna be drawing, I'm going to be drawing it sometime between Christmas and New Year. So you've still got plenty of time to enter that. So let's have a look, what order should we open these in? I'm gonna leave Vivid Voltage to the end because I am still trying to find that uh, Rainbow Pikachu VMAX. I'm after the Charizard VMAX from Darkness Ablaze still. We'll leave that there. And Evolving Skies just has so many cards. Any of the alternate arts would be amazing to pull. So we'll leave those. And Brilliant Stars I love. So we'll leave those. And Astro Rageous and Lost Origin. I like both of these sets. They both have Trainer Gallery cards. Which I really love all the Trainer Gallery cards. So we'll open these now. And we'll see. So yeah, definitely go back guys and enter that giveaway. There's two giveaways on going. One is specifically for kids and the other one is for anyone to enter. So good luck with that. So here we go. Lumineon, Shelios, Mawile, Horsey, Murkrow, Raihorn, a Reverse Lake Acuity and another Ultra Rare Hisuian Zorarak V. That is a nice card and our second hit of the opening. So there we go. Let's see if we can get something else from Lost Origin. So guys, Christmas, I think I said it in the last video that Christmas was nearly upon us. It really is nearly upon us now, isn't it? So I hope you guys all have a brilliant Christmas. I hope you guys get plenty of awesome Pokemon cards and let me know what you've managed to get guys. I'd love to see your polls. Let me know on any of our social media or comment on any of our videos. So we have Box of Disaster, Pikachu, Machop, Shuppet, Seal, a Rockruff, a Reverse Damage Pump and what do we have? We have something. Here it goes. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, a nice kind of full art trainer. Wow, look at that. 192 of 196. That's a really nice card. I have pulled one of him before. In fact, I think I pulled this card the very first time I opened Brilliant Stars, which was amazing. But it is a really nice card. How cool is that? So we have a full art trainer to add to our ever-growing collection. Already, this box is, is proving brilliant. I mean, you've got those... those um, promos which are guaranteed obviously oh this pack is weirdly sealed let's have a look and see and i've just spoilt it a bit not spoilt it because it's great news but i've just seen that there is something in this pack they are sticking together very badly though so we have ugly ourself switch card pursuing sneasel mistrevers barboach ponyard eevee a reverse Temple of Sinnoh, and we have a Rydia V. So another V card. Wow, hit after hit coming out of this Charizard Premium Collection box. Let's pop that one up there, and let's continue with Astral Radiance. These packs, yeah, they're sealed really strangely. They're a bit... We'll get into them eventually, though. So, no Trainer Gallery cards yet. I do love the Trainer Gallery cards. Let's hope we can pull some. Quality on these isn't great. There's a lot of whitening around the edge of these cards. Gib Job Bog, Magneton, Spice, Spicy Season Curry, Swinub, Chatot, Ponyta, Cricketot, Psyduck, a Reverse Teddy Ursa, and a Holo, Keldeo. So, first Holo of the opening, still a hit. Let's pop the Hollows up in that top corner there. And we will continue. We still have tons of packs left. I mean, I know this is an expensive product, but it is great to open all these packs and such a good variety of packs as well. I would have hate to have seen, you know, battle styles. I have, wouldn't have liked Chilling Rain. Um, but these are the more recent sets. They're the sets that I personally like. Um, Wait and See Turbo, Shield On, Cillian. Rifloon, these are sticking together so bad. Sorry, guys. Psyduck, Togepi, 
Magnemite, Ralts. We have a reverse Chatot and a regular rare Reggie Drago. So, moving on now to Brilliant Stars, we have three packs of Brilliant Stars. I do like this set. There is so many good cards in this set and the pull rate from what I've opened seems to be brilliant. I remember the first booster box I opened, I ended up pulling the Rainbow Charizard and the Alternative Art Charizard and the Umbreon all in the same box. I couldn't actually quite believe it. Weevil, Kindler, Cafe Master, Snorunt, Nosepass, Milsery, Chup Chu, Didene, a Reverse Sock and a regular rare click on. So yeah, and all the products I've opened, there just seems to be a really high pull rate. It's great getting those trainer gallery cards as well. You've got a chance at a double hit pack, which I always love. Here we go with our second Brilliant Stars pack. We have Groto, Clan, Gabite, Shinx, Farfetched, Execute, Grimer, Clefairy, a reverse Lipard, and a regular rare Mothin. So, few packs now without any hits. Is our look running, running out now? Let's see if we can get something in this last Brilliant Stars pack. There's your code. Oh, sticking together again. So, we have Morgrem, Claydol, Executor, Golas, Chimeco, Chimcha, Mincino, Baltoy, a reverse hall luncher and a regular rare bosses. Well, not a regular rare. That is a hollow. Bosses orders. Just a regular hollow. So a little bit disappointed with the three brilliant stars packs there. That was my fault, I guess, for jinxing it, saying how good the pull rates are. And I've just completely jinxed it now. So let's have a look what else. Evolving Skies, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage. My three favourite sets out of, of the selection that was here. So let's go with Darkness Ablaze first, actually. Well, Evolving Sky seems to have shot up in price recently. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's harder to get. Look at that, the card's backwards. And I've shown that it's a green code card, so I'm not expecting much out of this. However, they're not sticking together as much, which is good. Laron, Glimwood Tangle, Dartrix, Paris, Marie, Ducklet, Clink, Grimer, a Reverse Pansage, and a regular Rare Staraptor. But yeah, Evolving Skies, seriously high in price at the minute. There is some awesome alternate arts in this set though. I would absolutely love to pull any one of them, especially the Evolution ones. There's that awesome Rayquaza in here as well. There is some, yeah, there's just too many good cards in this set. Let's have a look and see. I guess that's partly the reason why the price has gone up as well. So we have Herdia, Pyro, Green Ball, Rug and Roller, Psyduck, Swablu, C Dot, the sticking again, Woo Bat, a reverse bag on, and we do have something here out of this evolving skies, and it looks like a full art of some description. Let's have a look. Volcarona V full art. What an absolutely gorgeous card that is. So we've managed to get two full arts out of this one premium collection charizard box so that's pretty cool let me just arrange those there that's a really nice card we have four packs left let's keep going so far i think value wise this has been a great box we have got those two full arts obviously you know pulls are going to be mixed um you do take a risk 119 pounds is a lot to spend if you don't get any great pulls um, so it is a bit of a gamble as a lot of things with Pokemon are. Raihan, Ribombe, Rog and Roller, Wubbuffet, Hot Pip, Swablu, Zora, a Reverse Pikachu, and a regular Rare Stoutland. So going into our last Evolving Size Pack. Yeah, I think these packs are selling for about £8 a pack now, which is double what the, the RRP is. So. Yeah, Evolving Skies definitely going up in value. I don't think they'll be doing a reprint of that set now, or I could be wrong though. Polypitoad, Shopping Center, Zoro, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy, Flabebe, 
a reverse Gorsifer, and do we have anything in our last Evolving Skies pack? No, regular rare Seismitoad. So we have two Vivid Voltage left. Is it too much to ask for that Rainbow Pikachu as a little Christmas present to myself, seeing as I have been trying to get it for over two years now, and I have lost count of the amount of Vivid Voltage packs we've opened. I could have probably bought it several times open, but that's often the way with Pokemon. So here we go, penultimate pack. Let's see what we can get. I've got a white co-card. That is the first sign. So let's see what we can get. We have Grass Energy, Dusclops, Rocky Helmet, Garvantula, Voltorb, Rockruff, Wishmo, Trubbish, Tynamo, a Reverse Ninjask, and it's a regular Hollow. So it's Zygarde, Hollow Zygarde. So we're down to the last pack, guys. Can we get that Rainbow Cheek Pikachu? Let us see. Guys, before I open this, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. We do give away several times a month, and in the new year, I'm hoping to do even more of them as well. There is the, the giveaway, the big Christmas giveaway ongoing. You can go back and enter two videos ago. Go check that out. And also, have a very Merry Christmas, everybody. Let us see what we can get from this last pack. I hope you all have a fabulous Christmas. Hopefully I will be recording um, between Christmas and New Year, but if not, we'll see you in the New Year. With the exception, I will be announcing that winner before New Year though. Garvantula, Go Goat, Picky Peck, Tutel, Rayolu, Chimeco, Ninkada, a reverse Delmise, and the last card, it's a regular red Jolteon. So guys, we've got two full art, we got three V cards, we got three hollows, and of course those awesome Charizard promos. All in all, this was a really, really fun box to open. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.